My brothers and sisters in Christ, today I want to go with you on a journey I call the spiritual. Since we are created spirits, we need to activate in life. We often find ourselves searching for answers, seeking direction, and longing for signs to guide us along our journey. As Christians, we believe that God communicates with us in various ways, offering signs to lead us closer to His will and purpose for our lives. Today's Let's Explore This Theme, Seven Signs God is Time to Tell You Something Through the Lens of Scripture and Biblical Examples, and I am going to release a very powerful prayer for you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Kindly watch till the end. Believe and open your heart to receive the blessings that comes with this prayer. Please like, comment, share this video with others. Leave your prayer requests and we will pray with you. Prayer is our direct line of communication with God, where we can seek His guidance and wisdom. In Matthew 7 verses 7 to 8, Jesus encourages us, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Through prayer, we can express our desires, seek clarity, and align our hearts with God's will. The Bible serves as a timeless guidebook for life, offering wisdom, guidance, and revelation. Psalm 119 verse 105 declares, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. When we immerse ourselves in Scripture, we gain insight into God's character, His promises, and His plans for us. Like the Bereans in Acts 17 verse 11 who examined the scriptures daily to confirm the teachings they received, we should diligently study God's word to discern. God orchestrates encounters and connections that align with his purpose for us. In Acts 8 verses 26 to 40, Philip encounters an Ethiopian eunuch who is reading from the book of Isaiah. Through divine prompting, Philip approaches the chariot, leading to the eunuch's conversion and baptism. This story illustrates how God can use unexpected encounters to fulfill His plans and purposes in our lives. The Holy Spirit works within us, guiding our hearts and minds towards God's will. In Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, we are encouraged, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When we experience inner peace and conviction, it can be a sign that we are aligned with God's purposes. God often speaks to us through unexpected circumstances and events. In Genesis 50 verse 20, Joseph reflects on his trials and tribulations recognizing that what others intended for harm, God used for good. Similarly, God can use adversity, challenges, and even setbacks to redirect our paths and fulfill His purposes in our lives. As we navigate life's journey, let us remain attuned to God's signs and guidance. Through prayer, scripture, divine appointments, inner conviction, and unexpected circumstances, God continually communicates His will and purpose for our lives. May we seek His guidance with humility and faith, trusting that He will lead us on the path of righteousness and fulfillment. 1. The Whisper of God's Voice In the midst of life's noise and distractions, God often speaks to us in whispers, gently nudging us towards His purpose and will. Just as He spoke to Elijah in a gentle whisper amidst the chaos of wind, earthquake, and fire, 1 Kings 19 verse 12, he continues to communicate with us today. Scripture teaches us the importance of stillness and listening for God's voice. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still, and know that I am God. When we quiet our hearts and minds through prayer, reflection, and meditation, we create space to hear God's whispers of guidance and direction. Consider the example of Samuel, the young prophet who learned to recognize God's voice in the quiet of the night, 1 Samuel 3 verses 1 to 10. 
Despite initially mistaking God's voice for that of Eli, Samuel eventually disowned the voice of God and responded with humility and obedience. Like Samuel, we must cultivate a sensitive spirit attuned to the whispers of God, ready to respond in faith and obedience. The Apostle Paul experienced a transformational encounter with God on the road to Damascus, Acts 9 verses 1 to 19. In that moment of divine intervention, Paul heard the voice of Jesus speaking to him, redirecting his life's trajectory. This encounter highlights the profound impact of God's whispers, capable of transforming hearts and redirecting destinies. As we navigate life's complexities and uncertainties, let us not overlook the power of God's whispers. Whether in moments of solitude or amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life, God speaks to us in gentle whispers, guiding us towards His plans and purposes. Pay attention to the still, small voice of God, for it may be His way of leading you towards the abundant life He has prepared for you. John 10 verse 10 2. Divine Appointments God orchestrates encounters and connections that align with His purpose for us, often leading to transformative experiences. In Acts 8 verses 26 to 40, we encounter the story of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. Philip, obedient to God's prompting, approaches the chariot of the eunuch, who is reading from the book of Isaiah. Through divine intervention, Philip explains the scriptures to him, leading to the eunuch's conversion and baptism. This narrative illustrates God's sovereign hand in arranging divine appointments to further his kingdom purposes. Just as Philip was led to the Ethiopian eunuch, we should remain open to unexpected encounters and opportunities that may be orchestrated by God. These divine appointments may come in the form of chance meetings, conversations, or shared experiences, but they carry the potential to profoundly impact our lives and the lives of others. God's divine appointments serve as divine nudges towards His divine plan for our lives. They offer us opportunities to share the love of Christ, to offer encouragement, or to receive guidance and direction ourselves. When we remain open and attentive to these divine encounters, we position ourselves to be instruments of God's grace and agents of His kingdom work. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today I want to go with you on a journey I call the spiritual. Since we are created spirits, we need to activate as we journey through life. Let us be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit and willing to respond in obedience to God's prompting. Whether it's reaching out to a stranger in need, engaging in a meaningful conversation, or seizing an unexpected opportunity, let us trust that God is at work in every divine appointment. By embracing these encounters with faith and humility, we align ourselves with God's divine plan and participate in His redemptive work in the world. 3. Confirmation Through Scripture The Bible stands as the timeless and authoritative Word of God, offering guidance, wisdom, and revelation to those who seek it. In Psalm 119 verse 105, we are reminded that your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Just as a lamp illuminates our surroundings in the darkness, scripture illuminates our journey through life, providing clarity and direction. When faced with decisions or seeking guidance, immersing ourselves in scripture is essential. Through prayerful study and reflection, we allow God's Word to penetrate our hearts and minds, guiding our thoughts and actions. As we delve into Scripture, we encounter the character of God, His promises, and His will for our lives. The example of the Bereans in Acts 17 verse 11 serves as a model for us in our approach to Scripture. They examined the Scriptures daily to confirm the teachings they received, demonstrating a commitment to biblical truth and discernment. Similarly, we are called to diligently study God's Word, allowing it to serve as our guide and source of confirmation. Scripture provides a solid foundation upon which we can build our lives and make decisions. It offers principles and precepts that align with God's character and His purposes for us. 
When we align our lives with scripture, we position ourselves to receive God's guidance and direction. Furthermore, scripture is not merely a historical document, but a living and active word that speaks to us today, Hebrews 4 verse 12. Through the work of the Holy Spirit, scripture convicts, comforts, and empowers us in our daily walk with God. It provides answers to life's questions, encouragement in times of struggle, and hope for the future. As followers of Christ, let us commit ourselves to the diligent study and application of God's Word. Let Scripture be our constant companion, guiding us through life's twists and turns. May we approach God's Word with reverence and humility, trusting in its power to illuminate our path and confirm His will for our lives. 4. Unforeseen Circumstances God often uses unexpected circumstances to grab our attention and redirect our paths. Consider the story of Joseph, who endured trials and setbacks but ultimately recognized God's hand at work in his life. Genesis 50 verse 20 Trust that God can turn every setback into a setup for his glory and your good. 5. Persistent Prayers and Patterns Sometimes, God repeats messages or themes in our lives to ensure we understand His will. Like the persistent widow who kept pleading for justice, Luke 18 verses 1 to 8, persist in prayer and remain vigilant for recurring patterns or themes. God may be using these to convey His message and prompt you to action. 6. Inner Peace and Conviction The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, guards our hearts and minds, Philippians 4 verse 7. When discerning God's will, seek inner peace and conviction. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide you, trusting that God's peace will confirm His direction in your life. Remember, God's signs may not always be dramatic or immediately evident, but they are always present for those who seek Him with sincere hearts. As you navigate life's journey, Remain steadfast in prayer, diligent in studying His Word, and attentive to the signs God is trying to tell you. Trust in His faithfulness, knowing that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. Philippians 1 verse 6 May you be encouraged and empowered to walk boldly in the path that God has prepared for you. Amen. Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I say to you, Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Join me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Open your heart and believe so that the blessings of this prayer will come to you. Say this prayer with faith. Dear Heavenly Father, We humbly come before you today. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, the Lord, you created the earth and the heavens, and all that is in them. I give you all the praise and glory. Thank you God for everything you have done in my life. I'm grateful for the good things and even the tough times. You've been with me through it all, and for that, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. God of mercy and compassion, please look with pity on me. I know I have sinned against you. I ask for your forgiveness. Father, Lord, have mercy on my mistakes and failures. Every mistake I have done in word, action, and deeds, Father, forgive me. For your word clearly says in 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you Lord Jesus for forgiving me. Now in the name of Jesus I declare the power of God against any work of the enemy. Every secret agenda the devil and his cohorts have plotted against me be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, your word said Christ was manifested that the works of the enemy might be destroyed. Every work of the enemy against my marriage, my job, my business, my career, my family, and children, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, I declare fruitfulness in every area of my life. 
Let the power of Christ touch my life so I bear fruit. I am fruitful in my life, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in my job, and in my finances, for the Lord gives us power to make wealth. Let prosperity be my portion in Jesus' name. I will not lack but have an abundance. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart. Anything that hinders my service, Father, deliver me. God, save me from myself, save me from people who will not lead me to you, save me from desires which are not godly, things which are not in line with your word. Father, help me obey your word. Sometimes the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, make me strong, make me fervent in you. Restore unto me, Lord, the joy of my salvation. Father, restore all the things I have lost, either by my ignorance or carelessness. You said in your word that the years the locust has eaten in our lives, you will restore us. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, my family, my marriage, my career, and my ministry. Father, you sent forth your word to heal our diseases and sicknesses. I declare your healing from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Father, heal my family, friends, and loved ones. Let your healing be their portion too. I boldly declare that I am a child of God. I walk in victory through faith. I am the head and never the tail. I am what God says I am in Jesus' mighty name. I boldly declare Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures, he letteth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he letteth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, my Father God, for hearing my prayer and answering my prayer. Amen. As this message has blessed you, type the word Amen in the comment section and share with us your testimony too in the comment section. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these blessings have come upon you now. Beloved, help us spread the gospel of Christ and reach more people all over the world by liking this video and sharing this message with your family, friends, and loved ones. We really appreciate your great support. We plead with you to subscribe so you can receive more videos that will revive your spirit and uplift your life. Christ came that all people will be saved. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this is the right time to do so. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and because of me, you came to die on the cross of Calvary. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Today, I boldly declare that you are my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart and lead me. As you have said this prayer, congratulations you have been born again. Please look for a pastor in a Bible-believing church and tell him you have given your life Christ. You will need to fellowship with other believers to learn about your new life. Prayer is a very powerful tool God has given us. With prayer our problems receive solution and we get comforted by God. Please leave your prayer request in the comment section. We are constantly interceding on your behalf before God. Trust me friends, our God will answer your every prayer request. Sometimes we may not reply to your prayer request in the comments section, but that does not mean we are not praying for you. We have you at heart in your requests. May the grace of our Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you now and forevermore.
Amen.